Hey guys, I'm Adriana with Gold Bio, and I'm going to be answering some frequently asked questions about working with D-Luciferin in vivo. For more detailed information, check out our Gold Bio Luciferin in vivo handbook. The link is in the description. How much luciferin should I use per mouse? We suggest that for every one gram of body weight using 10 microliters of a 15 milligram per milliliter luciferin stock solution. So for a mouse weighing 20 grams, that would roughly be 200 microliters for a standard 150 milligram per kilogram injection or three milligrams of total luciferin per mouse. How many mice can be injected starting with one gram of luciferin? Our stock solution recipe recommends using one gram of luciferin and 66.6 milliliters of DPBS, which makes 66.6 milliliters of solution. If you're injecting 200 microliters per mouse, this would give you 333 injections. What are the in vivo injection methods? There are three types of injection methods, intraperitoneal, intravenous, and subcutaneous. Intraperitoneal, here you're injecting the luciferin stock solution into the body cavity. Intravenous, this is injection directly into the tail vein. And subcutaneous is an injection under the skin, specifically the subcutis layer, which is below the dermis and the epidermis. How much luciferin should I buy if this is my first time doing in vivo imaging? If this is your first time working with luciferin, buying the smaller pack sizes is one of the safest ways to go. This allows you to see firsthand the quality of the product and to perform a trial on a smaller scale. If you're more experienced working with luciferin and you're comfortable buying everything up front, then keep in mind how many mice need to be imaged and how long luciferin can be stored. How long can D-luciferin be stored? D-luciferin, potassium, and sodium powder can be stored desiccated at negative 20 degrees Celsius for at least one year. You're gonna wanna protect your D-luciferin powder from sunlight and make sure to desiccate it to help ensure longevity. Is a solution of luciferin stable at negative 70 degrees Celsius? It is stable for short periods, but there can be degradation, so we don't recommend it for the most rigorous of experiments. For optimal results, it is best to dissolve only the amount of luciferin you need for the day's experiment. What cell lines are compatible with your luciferin? All cell lines expressing firefly luciferase should be compatible with Gold Bio's potassium or sodium luciferin. Which luciferin is better for in vivo use, potassium or sodium? The only differences between potassium and sodium luciferin are small differences in their physical characteristics. Sodium luciferin is more granular and slightly more soluble than potassium luciferin. Um, most researchers actually prefer to use potassium luciferin, however, either will work well. I hope this video was helpful. For more information, check out Gold Bio's Luciferin in Vivo Handbook, which is a great resource with protocols, tips, and illustrations to help ensure your experiment is a success. The link is in the description. Be sure to subscribe for more content, give us a like, and thank you so much for watching.